All right, so here's your homework for geometric sequences. Determine the common uh, ratio, this should say. So make sure we do that. The common ratio. For uh, arithmetic, it's different. It's R. And all I need is two consecutive numbers and divide. Then I just multiply by negative 6. Use your calculator. That's fine. And you get these huge obnoxious numbers. Uh, 23,328. Uh, negative 139,968. 8,039,808. Negative 5,038,848. All right. So the big thing is two consecutive numbers, divide it, reduce it down if you can, and then multiply it by 64 to get the next, the next, the next. So that's 256 over 3, 1024 over 9, 496 over 27, and 16,384 over 81. Here, again, take any two consecutive numbers and divide. Reduce it down if you can. So, again, multiply by two-fifths. So, 16 over 25 times two-fifths. And it's okay to use your calculator. So, 32 over 125. 64 over 625. 128. Uh, 3125. 256. 15,625. All right, next step. Uh, write a rule for each sequence. So here we have, uh, we're multiplying by 3 every time. And the rule would be, you take the first term, negative 3, and then it's times um, the r, which is 3, to the exponent n minus 1. If I want to find the seventh term, Plug in 7, and you get your answer. And you can use your calculator. Negative 2187. So again, take any two consecutive terms to find the ratio. And it's okay to reduce it down, what, by 9. So it's negative 3 over 2. Then the rule is the first term, that is the base to the exponent n minus 1. Plug in a 9. And you get your answer. Again, use your calculator. Number six, any two consecutive numbers, divide them. When you're dividing, um, you multiply times the reciprocal, so it's negative four. So then the rule is the first term, which is 1 over 40, negative 4 is the base, and then the exponent is n minus 1. So if I want to find the 11th term, I plug in 11, and then I get my answer. I'll write this one as a decimal, 2,620.4. So the ratio, take any two consecutive numbers. If you reduce it down, it's 3 over 5. The rule is, take the first term. That is the base, the r, to the exponent n minus 1. Plug in 8. And then use your calculator. Number 8. Use the information given to find the indicated value. So you're told the first term is negative 2. The ratio is 5. How would you find the eighth term? So negative 2, 5 to the 8 minus 1, and then solve it. Negative 156,250. Here, you're given the second term is negative 9. And the ratio is negative 3. Find the sixth term. So if the second term is negative 9, I don't know the first term, but I know the base is negative 3, and the exponent would be n minus 1, so that would be 1. 
So when you divide by negative 3, you get the first term is 3. You could also divide, right, to actually find the first term, like go uh, do the inverse. Now if I want to find the sixth term, I start with the first term, which is 3, then negative 3 to the exponent 6 minus 1, and use my calculator. And I get negative 729. 10, you have a common ratio. You could just multiply by negative 2 thirds. And if you're starting at 7, how many times? So you multiply 8, 9, 10, 11. So that's 4. So you multiply it 4 times. And the exponent just says you multiply, you multiply, you multiply, you multiply. And you get the answer 11,264. And then 6,561 is the denominator. 11, you start with A4, that's 1. The common ratio is 1 quarter, and you try and find the 7th. So the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, that's to the exponent 3. So it's 1 over 64. Here we have 3 eighths. And we have 48. And that's the eighth term, so eight take away one. So I'll do times the reciprocal. So eight thirds times 48. So that is 128. And then the seventh root of 128 will get r by itself, which is 2. So if I want to find the ninth term, I just go 48 times 2, and 96 then would be the ninth term. A2 is 2,000, 20,000, and this one is 625. Find the tenth term. So I need to know the common ratio. So. No, honestly, the quickest way is to understand that you're dividing. Notice the numbers are getting smaller. So 625 divided by 2,000, and then you do the root. So 2 to 8, right? It's the eighth root of that. We'll give you the ratio. And that answer is one half. And then you take 625 times a half. And you get 625 Oh, well, 625 times half, then, then 8, 9, 10, so to the third. So that's 625 over 8. Make sure I did that correctly. No. 9. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. It's, I used the wrong number. It's 7 take away 2. Mm. I get this right soon. So 625 over, oh, it's 20,000. Why am I, that's what the issue was. The fifth root of that. Yeah. 
There we go. So 7 take away 2. So it's the fifth root of that that equals that. And then that's your answer. Okay. Write an explicit and recursive formula for each. So the explicit one is super simple. It's 1 12th and then the ratio. So all you do is divide two consecutive numbers. I'm not going to pick the fractions. Negative 18 divided by 3, negative 6 to the n minus 1. The recursive says, hey, take the one before and you multiply it by negative 6. For number 15, again, take two consecutive, easy two consecutive numbers. So it's uh, the explicit is negative 9 over 2, and that's going to be positive 2 thirds to the n minus 1. Uh, the recursive says, hey, take the term before it and just multiply it by 2 thirds. Sixteen, can you find the means between the two means between here? So in other words, it's like this. So you have the first term and the fourth term. So to find we're gonna go twenty seven divided by one and then four subtract one. It's the cube root of that. So it's three. So I'm gonna multiply it times three and you get 3 and 9. All right, I'm going to continue this on the second video because the bell rang, but I did the best I could. So good job doing your homework. Uh, open up the second homework video, and it'll be 17 and on. GMath, over now.